right, class. Today we're going to be working on creating part of a school-wide mural. Our mural is going to be made up of balloons. We're going to have several balloons that connect and hold up a hot air balloon basket that you can actually stand in on the Night of the Arts. So you want to make your balloon with your name on it, make it really pretty so you can point it out to your parents, maybe take your picture with it. You'll actually be able to stand in the basket and get that picture. So everybody has on their tables balloons that are already drawn out. If there are two balloons per paper, if this is doubled, so it's twice as long and there are two balloons on it, you're just going to cut it in half and give a balloon to a partner. Okay? Everybody's only going to get one balloon. The first step is to cut out your balloon right along those lines. So I'm just going to cut mine out. I'm going to try to cut smoothly, not creating jagged edges. So I have a nice strong line to follow there. All right, and there I have my balloon shape. My second supply that I'm going to use is a dauber. These daubers need to come with caution. I think we've been over this before in a couple of classes, but we never squeeze the dauber. Never squeeze it. We don't push it hard onto our paper and we don't leave it there. As soon as you touch it to the paper, it will start working, just like a marker. So I'm not going to lose my cap. I'm going to carefully set it right beside my work. That way I can put the cap back on because I don't want this to leak everywhere. And I'm going to outline my balloon with my dauber. I'm going to go ahead and create that outline. I'm going to do the best outline that you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm also going to add in a little speck up here that's normally a reflection on a balloon. I'm just going to add that in like that. There I have my balloon outline and my reflection spec. Now, the next step is to take a big Sharpie. There's not enough Sharpies for every single person at every single table, so you have to share these and wait your turn for these. When it is your turn for the big Sharpie, you're going to write your name as neatly as possible on your balloon. I'm going to write my name. Alright, my name's on there, my black outline's on there, and now I get to color it in with the markers at my table. I get to design it any way that I want. I can use as many colors as I want, do whichever design I want. It's completely up to you. You're going to color in your whole balloon. We have two examples up on the board up here, and the third grade class already made some as well, so we have lots of different ideas floating around. I'm going to make some diamonds on mine. Your design can go over your name. Just make sure that your name is still readable. So if your design goes over your name a little, you want to make sure you can still read your name. Okay. The very last step is to cut a line on the bottom of your balloon. Not too far, just a little. So then we can fold it and make the balloon pop out from the wall. Make it look 3D. All right. <clears throat> I will get one balloon. I will get one balloon. I will cut it out. I will trace it with the black dauber. I will write my name neatly in Sharpie marker. I will color my balloon in and make a cut from the bottom. 
Awesome. Go ahead and get started now.